We keep batteries like this out of reach of little kids. They're dangerous if swallowed. A choking hazard for sure, and it can burn a hole in the stomach lining. But now researchers in Italy have created a battery that's meant to be eaten. It's signature science. Almonds, capers, activated charcoal, seaweed wrapping, gold leaf, beeswax. You can actually find all these things in recipes. Bet you didn't guess those same ingredients can also make this. What developers say is the first edible rechargeable battery. Well, a prototype anyway. Remember how a battery works. In simple terms, there's an anode, cathode, and an electrolyte. Batteries turn chemical energy into electrical energy. A chemical reaction between the anode and electrolyte causes electrons to build up on the negative side. Now these electrons are itching to get over to the positive side to even out their distribution. But they can't go through the electrolyte. However, if you give them another path, that is, close the circuit between the two, the electrons will start flowing out of the negative side towards the positive side. And eventually, the two sides reach equilibrium. The chemicals stop reacting, electrons stop flowing, and you've got a dead battery. But you don't have to buy batteries to create electricity. You can make your own out of things you already have at your house, like lemons and potatoes. There's potential for electricity all around us because everything is made up of tiny atoms which have particles that carry positive and negative charges. Now, back to that edible battery. The riboflavin in almonds acts as the anode. The cathode uses quercetin, which can be found in capers. Activated charcoal increases electrical conductivity, and the seaweed separator prevents a short circuit. The battery's electrodes are then encased in beeswax with two edible gold contacts, which are supported by a cellulose base, to conduct electricity. Similar devices exist already, but aren't digestible by the human body and might require surgery to remove if there's a problem during the digestion process. This guy is completely digestible, though. The next step is boosting the battery's capacity and shrinking it down to a pill size so it's easier to swallow. Researchers hope edible electronics will help diagnose and treat gastrointestinal conditions and monitor food quality. <laughs> 